What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with the next video in my Hackintosh hardware series. Today we're going to be looking at the Gigabyte Z77 DS3H. This is a motherboard that's been highly requested of this series, as it's one of the most compatible and easy to get up and running with OS X. This motherboard runs on the Z77 chipset, which is the most compatible chipset for OS X to run on, as things like power management are supported right out of the box. This board also uses socket 1155 processors, such as the Intel Core i3, i5, and i7. Much like the chipset, this socket is the most compatible with running OS X. The DS3H packs four 240-pin memory slots, of which can hold a maximum of 32 gigabytes of memory. The supported memory frequencies range from 1066 all the way up to 2400 megahertz when overclocked. This board also offers some good PCI options. We have a PCI Express by 16 slot, two PCI 1X slots, one PCI Express by 8 slot, and two legacy PCI connections. It's also worth mentioning that PCI Express 3.0 is on board. Moving on to SATA ports, there's five on this board, two SATA 3 and three SATA 2. The white SATA 3 ports are great for solid state drives, while the blue ports are for just about any other SATA device. The SATA 3 controller allows for very good read and write performance as well. Speaking of storage, mSATA is also present, which is a cable-free way to install OS X to your system. The ALC887 audio chipset is on board, which works great with the appropriate kernel extension for Multibeast. Moving to the rear I.O., we have two USB 2.0 ports, a PS2 port, DVI, VGA, and HDMI display connectors, two USB 3.0 ports, two additional USB 2.0 ports, a standard Ethernet jack, and the usual audio outputs. When using USB 2.0 devices, I found that they work fine in all USB 2.0 ports, but didn't work at all in USB 3.0 ports. On the other hand, I found that USB 3.0 devices worked just fine in both USB 2.0 and 3.0 ports. The Ethernet jack also works great after simply installing the Atheros kernel extension for Multibeast. The HD4000 graphics allow for onboard graphics adapters to work as well. Both the HDMI and the DVI connections are plug and play when using the Chimera bootloader, provided that graphics enabler is set to yes. You can even dual display with them. With that said, the VGA doesn't work once the desktop has been reached. Aside from the main features of the motherboard, there's some nice little features sprinkled throughout, such as two USB 2.0 headers, a USB 3.0 header, four four pin fan headers, an eight pin CPU power connection, and even a few more. At the end of the day, I can absolutely recommend this motherboard for your Hackintosh. For the $100 price tag, this is a motherboard that not only packs a reasonable amount of features, but is also very easy to get up and running with OS X. Whether you're looking for a budget build, or even a mid-range video editing PC, this board will suit the needs of many people at a very affordable price. Be sure to let me know your thoughts of the Z77 DS3H in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, let me know by going at that like button. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also, be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com, and I hope to see you guys back here soon.